What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I just decided to, you know, pick up the camera and film today just because I want something to edit before I film this weekend. And one thing I want to point out, if you guys saw my last full day of eating, I realized three of my meals were, you know, protein powder, isola protein. Is there anything wrong with that? No, not necessarily, but I do want to let you guys know that there are also options in my meal plan. So maybe I'll show you guys a couple options. Today, my pre-workout meal is gonna be chicken, rice, and olive oil. Very simple, easy to digest um, meal right here. Today we got chest, and I'll flash forward back to yesterday because my coach gave me the go for some, for a cheat meal. Honestly, it wasn't really a cheat meal. It was three clean rainbow rolls, but I'll rewind back to that right now. I just got back from Sushi House, so my coach said I could have three rolls of sushi tonight. Rainbow rolls specifically. Damn, this shit looked good. Guys, I haven't had sushi in over a week, so this is very exciting. They made it all pretty and shit too. Look at that. Woo-hoo-hoo! -hoo. The light. I'm really looking forward to this. With this, I'm going to have two things of glucose, which is a glucose disposal agent. All right, guys, you guys ready? Let's go with the salmon piece. Got puppy and soy sauce. Be scared of sodium, guys. All right, guys, I'll catch you guys in the morning. Today, I'm gonna to show you guys my updated um, chest day. Got from my coach, obviously, it's different exercises and things like that, different tempo work. That's that, I got a haircut tonight. That's probably gonna be the video along with showing you guys like the wide neck cut that I showed you guys last night. I'll show you guys an example. I have another shirt that I'm, I can do that easily with. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Alright guys, I'm ready. I should show you guys the fit. This is the uh, cutoff I made. So I literally cut the inseams. I'll show you guys just because you guys want to see that kind of shit. But is this from Forever 21? This is a uh, XL. I wish it was a little bigger, but honestly, with this uh, cut, it just looks a little more baggy-ish, which I like. We got a rocket, uh, young and with tank on the bottom, and then we got some. I'm not gonna lower the camera. Oh. Got some uh, immortal joggers below. So you guys already know what my pre-workout concoction is: 200 milligrams of caffeine, two scoops of nitric, a scoop of EAAs, and a quarter teaspoon of salt for the pump. Today's workout, I'm gonna pretty much film probably just one set of each exercise. It's gonna be like five exercises, so it's not gonna be too long. Take you guys through, have a good time. Let's go this chest. Let's go. Oh, I'm about to bump some freaking music. Get in that zone. You guys know the vibes. Let's see. Massive. I'm just gonna go stick with massive. Alright guys, so everything today is going to have a 3-1-1 tempo. So what that means is right here, it's my first working set. Right here, three, two, one, pause, and squeeze, two. Okay. Ooh. 15 to 20, two sets here. So main thing here, guys, make sure you can bend your elbows here, but as you're going out, straighten out your elbows, right? A lot of people do this shit. This is no bueno. Your chest is not fully contracted here. Your chest is fully contracted in this plane, okay? So try that tip out. My ass needs a haircut, except. All right, guys, moving on. Incline dumbbells, same tempo. <sighs> Two sets, top set, back off. All right, guys, 50 next up. As I got 110s for eight last week, so I'm gonna try to get nine or 10. All right, it's the tempo that kills you because it's a three second negative, one second pause, and one second pause at the top. So keep it honest, progressing that way.
Alright guys, moving on to back off. Got 13 last week. Gonna aim for 15. My program, I have a uh, reverse banded flip machine press, which I've never done. I got this set up from Amazon. I decided to try it, honestly. Let's see how it feels. So it takes the tension off the bottom. It's gonna feel good. That shit light. <laughs> so I'm just gonna do one set here, eight to 10. Without the reverse band, last week I got 245 for six. So with this, I should be able to get 255 for eight to 10, I'm hoping. So we'll see. Grind there. That was good. Good set. All right, guys. Last thing of the day. We got DB4 press superset with stretch push up. So I'm gonna set up like two plates right next here, and then make sure I get that deep stretch because I did do that last week. But two sets. I'm trying to get 15 to 20 here. Got 80 pounds, and then stretch push ups to failure. Here we go. I'm not trying to get eight. Holy shit. Whew. That pretty much wraps it up. I got one more set of that, and that's a wrap. So my chest days, you guys saw, very simple, very low volume, but a lot of tempo, a lot of intensity, and I'm giving all effort to these minimal sets right here. So I'm gonna wrap it up, maybe show you guys a little bit of posing after this set. Alright guys, catch you back at home. So I literally just got home. I'll show you guys my post-workout meal last time was a uh, cereal with two scoops of protein. Today it's gonna be some white fish, tortillas, and rice. So carbs and protein. White fish, lean source of protein. I'm using these carbs right here, white corn tortillas which is 20, 20 grams of carbs pretty much per two. So I'm gonna have 40 grams of this, 40 grams from uh, white rice, and then I did not thaw out the fish, so I put hot as water, put it in a plastic bag, and hopefully it should like defrost, and then I'm just gonna cook it in the pan. And I actually have a couple things to talk about, so I'll show you guys the post-workout meal once I'm done with it. Oh shit, that's great fish. I have chefed up my post-workout meal. We have 224 grams of cod, four tortillas, and 140 grams of rice. So I have the option of cod or shrimp. So I decided to go with cod because shrimp, it's just a little annoying to make because I have to like peel off the tails and everything. So this is cod, add some salt. Salt all my meals, guys. Don't be scared of salt there. And then I'm gonna need some flavor, so I'm probably gonna add some uh, fish tacos. Hey, and then this, the green dragon from Trader Joe's, absolute goat. Yeah, guys, that's gonna be the post-workout meal. And then I'll catch you guys up when I after I shower. Yeah, look at that. Woo! Alright, right, guys. So I'm gonna quickly show you guys how to make that cut off the wide neck because I'm sure a lot of you guys will be trying it out yourself. So here we got a t-shirt. This is uh, from Forever 21. So what I'm going to do, got a pair of scissors right here. And see this right here by like the neck? I'm just gonna cut along the whole outline of this, including the tag obviously, cause that's attached right there. So do that right now. Cut 
right there. Literally guys, it's like you're in art class. Take your time here because you don't want it like too zigzaggy and it will come out zigzag if you rush it, all right? So if you guys can see, I'm literally holding on my feet because it's better to cut it while it's like kind of pulling on something. Honestly, not as smooth as my other shirts, but came out pretty good, all right? So here's the shirt. I'll try this on for you guys so you guys can see what it looks like, all right? So this is actually an oversized shirt from Unigo, if you guys are wondering, by the way. So I'm just gonna push this real quick. Guys, I love like this kind of cut on t-shirts. So it fits my big ass head in there without any problems. So yeah, guys, look at that. If you guys have chains, it does make it like a big difference. So definitely could be a little smoother by like the neck. If you guys look right there, it's a little rough, but I don't care right now. Um, this is gonna do the trick. So that is that because I know you guys want to probably see that. My uh, afternoon client canceled, so I have the rest of the day free. I got a haircut later. My hair is a little too long. I do want to show you guys something that I'm gonna show you guys is a very little sneak peek, okay? Because this is a project that I'm kind of working on. Just real quick. That's it. That's all you guys are gonna see. I'm thinking about maybe making some t-shirts. I don't have the biggest following, obviously, so I'm not like looking to make thousands and thousands of anything. These are gonna be for the people that, you know, fuck with me and fuck with my content. And yeah, I think this is gonna be something in the works in the next up upcoming months. So if you guys are interested, or if you guys would be interested in copying some merch, like this video, so I kind of get like a, rough estimate because a lot of you guys subscribe but I have no idea who you are and that's the crazy thing about YouTube like I put myself out there and there's a lot of people you know probably watch me and you know I, I don't know you guys so drop a like if you guys would be interested obviously shit would be gas nothing whack I wouldn't make any whack clothes but you know this is like a sample that I kind of started to make today you know just uh i was in a little creative mindset so that's that but one thing i want to talk about is that i just hit 2000 subscribers a couple days ago and i just want to say like this grind what is it august almost approaching two years of consistent youtube uploads it's just been like a long time in the works i want to take this time to thank every single one of you guys who watch my videos honestly it just means the world because youtube you guys already know like i love making these videos it takes a shit ton of time but you know i genuinely love this shit. this year was a statement year for me to really dig deep and just stay locked into my goals so um, i have a lot of exciting content upcoming upcoming in a couple months because I got this Alphaland trip. I'm going for summer shredding. And right now uh, with my coach, I am going to you know focus on digestion a little bit. That's the goal for this week because some foods like didn't really work with me. So it's kind of figuring that out. And then once I nailed that, I'm probably gonna get a little bit leaner. I'm probably gonna start a lean bulk phase before I go into prep. So it gives me a time to build a little muscle and then shred down and get fucking shredded. So that is gonna be a challenge. I'm very excited to document that because for years, that's something I've always wanted to do. I'm really gonna challenge myself to constantly get videos out. So that's gonna wrap up the video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Holla back at your boy, Jake Kim out. Peace.